Hey guys, I'm excited for you to be here. Come join me today as I give you a tour on the new home of Kellis, the Kellis Complex. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm excited to show you guys the rest of the space. And Kat, why don't you let us know how you came up with the different designs for the different spaces. Let's start with the facade. So looking at the direction of music that Careless was going for, you know, it was more funky, like looking at songs like Hello Soda, very funky 70s, neo retro vibe. And also looking at the Careless logo, it's very wavy. So it made me think about this one designer called Werner Panton. So he popularized this, the wavy baby, like color popping aesthetic of back in the 70s. And that became the inspiration really for the general aesthetic of the Careless Complex. And the color for the facade. And the color, yeah. definitely. So um, for the facade, it's actually a little bit more subdued in terms of form. So I toned it down a little bit. Um, more of like a monotonous, really just one color to give out the eccentric, funky, and like youthful vibe that Careless has. Yeah, I remember I had a lot of, I was very specific about the, the color that we yeah. used and the, the texture. Yeah. So we used Davies paint for the color of the facade and a lot of the concrete. And Thankfully to try and get that kind of terracotta like. Definitely. So that. yeah, we, we picked terracotta so that we have that, you know, energizing color at the same time. It's still very earthy. And, you know, really uh, Davies did a great job in, you know, mixing and specializing the color for us. Okay, so next we have the gazebo. This is like one of my favorite places in the so, whole complex. <laughs> There. So the gazebo is where we went a little bit more ham um, with the Panton uh, aesthetic. So here you can see a lot of like wavy arches, also some blobs even in, in, as some of the windows. And really for this one, it's so that this becomes the one of the chill spots um, that visitors see and also like for, for the staff of Careless to come in and also just Stay inspired and really be, you know, creative. So we give that freedom to them so that not only can they really do the groundwork that needs to happen for Careless, they can also come over here and, you know, do creative work as well. Okay, let's take a look inside. So over here, we have furniture, um, you know, carefully curated and chosen by the talented PJ Almera. So we have here furniture on two toes, on more neutral colors. Uh, these are from Ikea, table and chair. Um, the snack is from Odeco. Uh, also on the other side, uh, you have uh, more lounge chairs, also from Ikea. Table and the lamp from Odeco. So really, this is a place where, you know, James and the rest of the team can uh, sit down, have powwow meetings, which are still chair. Um, and you know, you get the breeze also coming in through the, the screen of cafe. Hey okay, guys, so this is the walkway um, towards the outdoor lounge, which is also our garden. So over here, you'll see once again the terracotta uh, finish by Davies, and also beautiful uh, cacti and very minimal plants. Also, we have here like custom uh, bollards. So these are made out of uh, solid wood and resin, so they glow at night. So actually, the nighttime is really when the space yeah. breaks out. Okay guys, welcome to the outdoor lounge where industrial workplace meets Bali vacation. We got furniture by Casa Bella. Over here, it's uh, these tables and high chairs by Mendeco. Um, and this whole area, the furniture is by Ikea. Lamps here are also by Mendeco. And the artwork that you see on all the walls are by Bernadine Gant. So for the main goal of this space is that we really wanted to make sure that the team has a space where they can decompress, also take casual meetings. This area we also use after work um, a lot of the time. It's where we come down to hang out, maybe grab some drinks after work, talk about stuff other than work, and throw the occasional party here as well. So over here we have a space that soon will become an outdoor gym, which we're going to force everybody to use. But uh, yeah, not for now. But let's check out the veranda upstairs. So welcome to the veranda. So this is, we have the same intent as the outdoor lounge. And with here, we have uh, artwork by Bernadine Gang. We have the wood parquet floor by Ikea. Also furniture by Ikea. Plants by Betty Beats. 
From here, we have a pretty cool view of the gazebo and the walkway. And over here, you can see down into the lounge area. So you can see what everyone's doing. Okay, now we are at the multi-purpose room. So uh, we use this space for a lot of different things. So as you can see, sometimes we use that as a photo studio um, to get our own photo shoots in. Uh, we also have desks and chairs. Usually we fill up the space to so have a whole like co-working area as well. Um, and also events. For example, Alicia's artist announcement, which we held here with all of the press. So we have tables, we have chairs, a lot of the storage, um, cabinets over there, all by IKEA. And we have the air cons as well, sponsored by Medea to keep the place cool. All right, let's check out the pantry. Now every office needs a decent pantry. So here, this is where we store our food and everything. We got the plates, cups, uh, utensils, everything by IKEA. And we got our microwave, refrigerator, and dishwasher by Medea. Okay, now time to give you guys a tour of the second floor of the Kalos Complex. Joining me today is PJ Almera, who did the interior design for all of Kalos Complex. So why don't you let them know a little something about yourself. All right, thanks James. Hi everyone, so my name is PJ Almera. I am an interior architect and I am the principal designer and creative director of Studio Almera. So how was it conceptualizing the designs for Kelly's Complex? Well, actually, um, when we conceptualized the design for this um, space, uh, we actually treated kind of like deciphering the identity and or the DNA of the people or the clients um, that are using the space. From Careless itself, we were able to come up with an overall concept that's Careful chaos and careful chaos. Careful chaos. Yeah, chaos. I remember that. I love that careful chaos. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> how I feel about it. I tried to make it a bit moody and dark, just to make sure that um, the space would complement the people who are already colorful in its nature, and in a way creating camaraderie in the in the built environment. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. So right now we're in the foyer, mm -hmm. and I think this is one of the moodiest places yeah. in the complex going mostly dark, um, which is a good transition coming from like the orange facade and like also the, the veranda outside. And at night, it kind of feels like a lounge bar, but uh, it's still very like homey and inviting, especially with, uh, with these chairs yes. and the furniture by uh, Modeco. Modeco. Yeah. Yeah, actually, um, this is one of the first areas that we designed and the mood actually here is everything is black, but it has different textures. And then we decided to have like different lighting um, elements. So we have here um, lighting fixtures from IKEA and also this one, which is really very exciting because you can play around with it. And um, we also have some more texture like the fabric, which kind of like very tactile. And at the same time, the Bernadine Gan um, artworks. Yeah. So everything here is some uh, very subtle um, interaction that you can do. So yeah, um, and of course it adds like pizzazz to the space. It's definitely a lot of okay. <laughs> Let's check out the main office room. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, that's I call it the Death Star. Yeah, and at night it's really you know it reflects so much. All right, so this is the main um, conference room. Uh, it's basically an extended version of Careless Box, which was our original office in Katipunan. Um, all it had was, you know, this table and glass walls. So we kind of kept like the original, it's kind of like a nod yeah. to our first office where we grinded so much for like the beginning of pandemic. But yeah, it has the same table, but we added new chairs, um, office chairs from IKEA. We, we wanted to, to have a centerpiece, which is your former centerpiece also. So we are really intrigued by this table and we wanted to keep it. Um, and somehow it's kind of like the main focal point here. And as you can see, everything is still glass, uh, kind of like an ode to the former office. But we kind of like um, added a bit of mood with a play of light. So you can see um, here, we actually wanted to add um, a lot of light fixture because 
uh, the glass are actually like smart glass. So um, they could dim and they could um, be clear um, by the use of a remote. And since the space could be a bit dark in the morning, so we wanted to play around. We also made the ceiling white to make it lighter and also have like a high ceiling here. Um, the idea also of the space is kind of like um, a connection towards the foyer where it's all black as well. And then um, we added a few um, elements and features here from Bernadine Gan and kind of like an otherworldly element which is very you, very, very careless in its nature. So this is, this being our main conference room, you know, this is where we have a like uh, big meetings, presentations, that kind of thing. Um, air conditioning by Medea. It's quite a big room, so we have a few aircons in here. Uh, executive office. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna sit down there? <laughs> All right. So, yeah. I'll be you for change. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what was the uh, the thinking behind this room? We actually incorporated a bit of like a vintage vibe in the entire space, kind of like those 60s um, Mad Men feel. So we added um, a few textures, um, like a mix of different textures from the mirrors, from IKEA. Um, and then we added these um, wall lamps, uh, also from IKEA. And then I think it's one of my favorite wall uh, yeah. walls here in the space. An executive office will not be complete with your, without your executive desk and um, chairs. So these are actually from um, Contract World. And of course, uh, alongside with um, some of the IKEA items that we have here. So yeah, um, when, when we envision this, we want you to feel comfortable here. It has an executive feel yeah. to it. <laughs> so right across the hall is the art department. We made it somehow very neutral in a way. We wanted to play around with um, dark wood grounds and also like, um, like a gray concrete color because uh, we are somehow um, envisioning that the creative space should not be bounded by a specific color or a specific, you know, style. So we wanted this to be very neutral and they could put posters, they could put like designs on their walls. Um, most of these items, actually all of these items are from IKEA. So as you can see, everything is very customizable, um, which we love. And also, uh, since these are not built in, they could like move around. And we, they also have like uh, bean bags here, which um, some of the uh, some of your team are actually you know they love um, lounging at the same time working. Uh, so it's like um, a mix of lifestyles. You don't know how many times I've caught Idre passed out on that that oh, bean yeah, bag. So well, these tables that we have over here and chairs are all from IKEA and also we have this beautiful um, air conditioning system. Um, this uh, unit is from Midea and it actually reflects really well. It kind of have the same finish with the mirror that we put here in the side. So it's perfect. Okay, so this office is mainly for sales and accounts. Um, this is where a lot of the sales happen. We have a lot of meetings here as well. Um, it's like a secondary conference room. Um, and yeah, we, we have a lot of uh, equipment, furniture, storage here by IKEA. Once again, Medea air conditioning. Yeah, and also we added this um, round table uh, from Taylor Living just to add a bit of you know gold and um, pizzazz into the space. Um, also to complement it, we added this rug from IKEA as well, which is very contrasting to the overall look and then matching it with this um, retro feel uh, drapery. Yeah, and it's also very tactile, kind of like the one in the foyer. And then, um, as you've noticed also, in some of the spaces, we have incorporated like these paintings, again, from Bernadine Gan. Okay, PJ, do you want to explain <laughs> why we have such a chill spot? <laughs> Alright, so this space is one of my favorite in this uh, in the entire complex actually because um, this is the waiting area but at the same time like a mini lounge and we focus here um, actually we started designing this with the rug and um, this sofa from IKEA both of them are from IKEA which when I showed this to you you really love the color and the feel of it there are also some elements as you can see for example this gold um, wall here so we, we went with kind of like this galaxy um, wall or feel um, this is also for, from Bernadine Gan. so the small artworks earlier that we had like this small in the um, conference area this is kind of like an enlarged version of that custom Custom, yeah. As you can see, we have here some table lamps as well uh, from Modeco. 
And these uh, tables, I think this is uh, one of my favorite um, pieces from IKEA because it's multifunctional. And I could see some of your teammates working while lounging here. So it really feels like home. <laughs> This um, art piece over here, this sculptural piece, is uh, from Taylor Living. It's really interesting. It's like a chess piece. Yeah, it just adds a bit of shine of, you know, it's already gold, but we wanted to add more gold. And also, this lamp over here, um, the ceiling lamp is also from IKEA. So just to add a bit more vintage look and feel. And of course, the hello sign, yes. which we used in the music video. It's not on right now. It's not on right now. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. All right, let's check it out. Okay. So here we are in the studio. Finally, Careless has its own recording studio to work out of um, for the first time in the entire history of Careless. So this was a very special place. It was um, a huge collaboration uh, between uh, Waxy, who did the acoustics and sound treatments, um, Kat, who did the architectural design, and of course PJ, who did the interior design. So do you want to let us know a little bit about um, how you created this space? Yeah, um, so the idea, so Kat and I collaborated on the idea and actually um, I started with the floor. So as you can see, the floor is kind of like a spillover of elements. So we had to like cut an IKEA rug, which is kind of like similar to the one, the Persian rug that we have outside. Um, you know, we, we just wanted to have this kind of like transition and connection so that when you enter here, it's very, uh, very careless in its nature. And as you can see, the, the waves or the contours actually follow the careless um, uh, logo. And also the overall um, silhouette and design from the gazebo to some of the mirrors here in the space. Very wavy. Very wavy. And then we added this um, super cozy um, sofa, this couch. Um, this is like one of the first pieces also that we got alongside the maroon couch. And I remember when we went to IKEA, you, when you sat down and this one's really comfy and you loved it. Yes, it is. Yeah, and the color. Mm -hmm. The color is very grounding as well. So I think uh, uh, the overall design, we wanted it to be a bit more earthy, um, cozy, like a home studio, but it's professional in a way. Uh, it's very professional in its um, you know, technicalities and nature. And of course, we added some Aztec elements also to complement some of the um, tribal design that we see here um, in the space. Also, to make it a bit more loungy, we actually have these um, poofs from IKEA. You know, that um, some of the artists, you know, love sitting uh, just to make sure it's casual. It's nothing too intimidating as a studio. We also have these um, chairs, again, from IKEA. So one of my favorite office chairs, very comfy. Okay, so we have all of our audio equipment here. And all of these panels you see here, uh, these are actually acoustic panels with a design over them to kind of conceal them. And some other cool features about this office we got right here. I don't even know what to call this. Hologram pyramid machine. <laughs> a and virtual careless. Yeah, virtual careless. Um, this was a gift uh, left behind by Waxy in the studio. And as you saw on the way into the studio, we have these two murals artworks. Uh, the one on the studio door being a music Buddha. And then on the other side is the wolf, because that's where all the wolves are <laughs> inside the office. All right, so joining me now, we have Jeffrey O my longtime partner and the CEO of Kellis Music. Hey everybody, my name is Jeff. Um, I've had the privilege of uh, serving as the CEO of Kellis Music for the last, uh, I think, two, three years. It's been a hell of a ride. I'm very excited about all the things that we've accomplished for, for us, for Kellis, the people, the artists, um, and hopefully making a bit of an impact in, um, in the music scene here uh, in the Philippines. So what makes Kellis, well, not just the space, but Kellis unique? Oh, I would like to think a little more intentional um, about our mission. Um, that's a very corny ass thing to say, <laughs> intentional about your mission, but it's really, I think, the right way to describe us. Um, how we do things, who we do it with, is always just as important as what we are doing. And I think that's 
as with life, as with family, that's the most important thing. If just because we get what we want, if we don't do it the way we believe in, and we do it with people that we don't care about, it's not worth it. Um, I think people often forget that in something as savage and hard as the music industry. And if I'm being quite frank, it makes shit harder for us because it's we're always taking the long way. What I can say is by taking the long way, once we get there, it's really worth it. So what's also unique is that we are the most high key and low key startup music label in the country. Um, people know us very well because we have a distinct sound, distinct look, distinct um, you know, roster. But they're always also kind of surprised because they always underestimate what we're capable of doing. And I think we've taken on that role of we the, one of the roles of being a tastemaker in the music scene. Um, we take things that we like, push it, and we see the, the local industry slowly, you know, follow the direction that we're taking. I don't think we get credit for it, but it's okay. I mean, we don't need to, right? That's not what we're in it for. Um, but that's why other labels have come and gone, other indie labels, other artists have come and gone, but year on year, we're bigger, better, signing more people, doing things the way we like. Um, we're always proud of uh, the work we th that we do. It's not that we don't make mistakes, it's not that we don't, you don't screw up, but um, we can always confidently say that we don't have any regrets on what we do. And tomorrow is always the best day in our company's history. Okay, well, speaking of like direction and growth, what do you see happening next? Like we have new like, space, we're signing new artists, I'm gonna say something controversial. Um, authenticity, creativity, overrated. Overrated. And why I say that is everyone has a story to tell. Everyone is authentic to themselves. Everyone has like creativity, right? I think a lot of times people create this fake gatekeeping mentality where only certain people are authentic or only certain people are creative. Everyone is, right? I think at Careless, the direction we're taking is that quality, consistency, um, execution is what really matters to make that authenticity and creativity worthwhile. People think we are super trendy. We're not. Like, I would say this is the year where execution, quality comes first. And when you stick to that, we'll always cut through the noise. There'll be people that get more hype at times, um, people that get more momentum, more streams, um, but that all fades. And yeah, you know, next year, like, I think people are gonna be shocked with what we pull off. Um, and yeah, I think that's, what makes us unique and I think that's what's gonna drive us forward. It's not the focus on any one thing other than really representing what true quality looks like. And that's what we want here in uh, Careless Music. Yeah, but that's, uh, you know, that's us, Careless Music. This is, that's why this is Careless Complex. You know, Careless Complex is the Careless home and thank you guys for coming to check it out. Thank you guys for being a part of it. Um, and as with any home, our home is your home and we would love for you guys to swing by, visit, check what we're about, um, see what the team is about, see what our mission is about. And uh, little by little, this thing will keep on growing. So thank you everybody. Thank you. Right, so that concludes the tour of the Careless Complex office. Um, I want to thank all the sponsors for helping us make this happen. But I think the most important thing about this space is the people that are in it. You know, I'm really proud of the team that's worked so hard to get us where we are today. And I'm really proud of the space that we created. I'm proud to call this place home. And I'm proud to call it play, not work. So thanks guys for tuning in.